In this small example I want to show you how you can set up an automated part selection depending on simple calculations. Let's see how this looks like in the project builder of ePlan Cogeneer. The first step is to select a target project. After that, I select the configurator that contains the macro typical that I need for this example. Here I can set the current load for three different outgoing lines. OK, the configuration was generated. Let's have a look at the result. There are two new pages in the target project. This one contains the outgoing lines. As you can see, the values that I selected in the project builder are used for the circuit breakers on this page. The other page contains the related power supply unit. The sum of the current loads is 8. The according power supply unit can handle up to 10 amperes. OK, now I change the values for the current loads of the outgoing lines. Let's generate the configuration again. Depending on the sum of the current loads, a part is chosen automatically for the power supply unit that can handle the accumulated current load. As you can see on this page, the new values are now used for the circuit breakers. The sum of the current loads is 18. As you can see on the other page the power supply unit changed. It can handle up to 20 amperes. That's it. Now let's see what is defined in the designer of ePlan Cogeneer to make that possible. For the beginning of this part of the video I open the project builder and the designer next to each other. On the left hand side of the designer you can find the sidebar. Let's have a look at the tab, configurators. Here you can see the configurator that I used in the project builder a minute ago. I want to show you the macro typical, number 900. I switch back to the tab, macro typicals, and select it in the list. In the upper section you can find three configuration variables. The display names of these variables are shown in the project builder. They are used to set the values for the outgoing lines. In the lower section of the designer you can find the macros that are part of the macro typical. The first macro is just an empty basic page the other macros are placed on. The second one is the basic schematic for the power supply. Both are always active. Then there is four times the macro for the power supply unit. The first one is used only if the sum of the configuration variables is 6 or below. The selected value set, 6.5 amperes, is connected to a power supply unit that can handle the current load. The second macro is used if the sum is between 6 and 10. The according power supply unit can handle up to 10 amperes. The third macro is used if the sum is between 10 and 20. The according power supply unit can handle up to 20 amperes. The last macro is used only if the sum is above 20. The according value set contains the same power supply unit as the last one, but the overload is indicated in the schematic. In the second block you can see another empty basic page. The macro for the outgoing lines is placed on it. Here the configuration variables are connected to value sets too. The selected values are used for the property, technical characteristics, in the macro. That's it. In the last part of the video I will show you the macros themselves. Now let's have a look at the macros and their placeholder objects. Therefore I close the designer and expand the view of the macro navigator in the ePlan platform. This is the macro that contains the basic schematic for the power supply. As you can see the power supply unit is missing. It's part of the next macro. And there is the first placeholder object. You have to use this syntax for the name of the placeholder object to make it available in ePlan Cogeneer. The placeholder object contains four value sets. 
one for each possible power supply unit. The variables of the value set are connected to properties of the macro. The first one is the part number. And the second one is a free text property that is used to indicate the calculated current in the schematic. OK, the next macro contains the schematic for the outgoing lines. This time there are three placeholder objects. Again, you have to use this syntax to make it available in ePlan Cogeneer. Each of them contain three value sets. This time the variables are connected to the properties part number and technical characteristics. Therefore the values that are set for these variables are used for these properties. And that's it. This is how you can set up an intelligent part selection depending on simple calculations.